Oh, hurry, everyone, and uh, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... He is a mighty Duke here at your service. <laughs> and yes, welcome. Right <laughs> yeah. They actually changed the background with this game as well, <laughs> depending on where you are. And welcome back to Doom Eternal, where, well, it's the third stream, and we've been making good progress so far without many, if any, technical difficulties, really. Like, the most thing that's been going on is this. Yeah. The other was not more technically, like, we had some issues in first, but was more not the game that had the was an issue with, but uh, something else. Yeah. Uh, you had done some wrong settings. And see, is there anything else? Present the game from the has been wonderful. Let me just turn that off quickly. See if that does anything. Hello there, Durvan! Hey there, are you doing well today? Uh, let's see, I get to witness the ripping and tearing so high. Uh, <laughs> actually, I believe this is supposed to boost frame rates, but that's not going to help speed me up any. Um, keeping all of that on. Uh, what is this? Let's turn that off. Uh, let's see. It's yeah. It's taking a good bite out of my CPU, but it's the GPU that is <laughs> that is just fully maxing out on all of this. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Let's continue on where we were at the cultist based B based <laughs> base. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> And yeah, the game has stopped playing nice. So, time for me to get good. Let's see. I still find these really annoying. Let's see. We have the cultist key, if I remember correct. So, we can actually look here. Wait, it's another trap. Oop. Hello. Holy. There. Good start to the stream. The decapitation. Okay, probably shouldn't have used the blood punch just on that, but oh well. Is anything hidden around here? No, there is a secret encounter nearby. And the Slayer Gate. Let's Ooh. see then. Ah. For a moment I was still... Uh, oh, you fuckers go on the ceiling now as well. What? 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 Uh, one thing after another. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> Their own Christ figure with only they've got four arms now. Let's have a look oh. around. We didn't find. We haven't found the Slayer key, and I very much doubt it would be too obviously marked on the map. Oh, um, I know what that thing is. Oh. I I will let the game tell you. Let's see. Okay, we need to go all the way around to get that key. So let's. Have a look. Oh, hello. Hmm. Is that big? I can we break that ourselves? Yeah, thought so. No, this actually. I did not actually expect there <laughs> to be anything underneath here. But this is how we get the Slayer key. I'm guessing. Oh, boy. There we go. All right. Hmm. I do want to give it a try. 
Yeah, for it, it does give several rewards, like one upgrade point and two, three other upgrade points. Yep. And well, the Unmaker. But it is yeah, going to be a tough out. fight. So, here we go then. Okay, immediately. What? What? What caused that? Not enough fuel. Still not enough. Give me. They're blowing themselves up now to spite me. Okay. Get some distance. On it from before remind me That's... a little of the little brain creature in Odyssey Gate 3. Didn't think that it reminds you of Beholders. Moment ago. Uh, no, not Beholders. The Tacker Demons would be closer to Beholders. Yeah, Tacker Demons uh, Demons uh, I can see with like Beholders. But I also like being creature in D and D, like on the skate, like yeah. those mind devourers, those four-legged brains. The answer, I, I know there's mind flares, but those are different. Yep. Oh, the other things is all their pets. Yes, they have pets, which are yep. brains with four legs. Okay, I need to kill something with the chainsaw. Okay. Come here. You're new, and we'll learn about you later. Distance. No, yeah. missed that one. I have a lot less time to take my shots on the weak spots now, but I think we're getting close to the end of this. One bullet short. <laughs> Enough ammo on that. I very much get the feeling that I have just jinxed myself and that they're going to be throwing Oop. Hell Knights next. Just in case. Oh. Okay, I, I'd almost say that that was easier than the previous one. 
Yeah, though, this time you were at least somewhat prepared for it to get hard, and you were mentally prepared for it to be harder. Yeah, and I come out with full, <laughs> with full health and armor. Okay, we oh, need to uh, push that. Hmm? All right, there are more clearly intellect devourers. Those small mindfully servants. Okay, but they definitely sounded like they'd fit in. Yeah, they, they don't uh, look like they would brain crucial IP, except it's just the brain with four legs and each foot have like three or four claws. Let's see. Uh, actually, yeah, they, you know, they're actually in Neverwinter Nights. Alright. How do we get up there? Hmm. It's obvious that we need to push that thing into that to topple it over, but how do we get behind it? There's no path that way. And, okay, so the Slayer Key does show up on the map. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Wait, that, that's something... Pardon? Wait, oh, help me. I thought something was up. There we go. And then it's just going across. Nothing dropping out from underneath us. <laughs> yeah, not entirely what I was thinking, but okay. Are, are we just going to drop kick that thing now? Yeah, close enough. Hmm. There's actually a, or was something actually alive. I do not fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. I will be waiting. Take the train to the Terror Dome? <laughs> what is this? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all of a sudden? Yeah, I just remembered. Have you been able to kill the cults this was uh, earlier? Uh, yeah, but they weren't... No, they weren't much of a threat. But I, I probably should have exterminated them. <laughs> hmm. Okay, from yeah, Durban Lord first. I don't know why I say the first, but it has a shop for it. <laughs> Whatever that thing you punched was, looks like a demon who I doubt you you have seen yet. Helian has not seen it. Yeah. But I have. Ooh, hello. Good thing I check on the sides. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is really telling me to just spend these damn points. He's getting sick of carrying them around. Let's see, six. Uh, let's see, larger map review. Reveals the position of all progression items. Okay. Uh, let's see, dash refilled on glory kills. Dash refills more quickly. Faster weapon swap. Faster grab. Let's see, anything. Let's see, frag grenades. Environment. Barrels will leave behind some ammo when destroyed. Explosive pinatas. Uh, regenerating... Oh, barrels that have exploded will respawn once after a short duration. Immune to damage from barrel explosions. Let's take that. To prevent any, well, collateral damage on ourselves. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Even if it just doesn't ever happen, it's still good just in case. And hello, pizza be <laughs> Pizza lover! Almost, almost. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Pizza Marco. and Marco. That's this one, definitely. Okay. Uh, how are you two doing? Let's see. Uh, hi, how are you? Uh, I saw a guy get hit in the head by an empty pistol. Turns out Doom Guys threw it and that guy was a zombie. Okay. Uh, we're doing well. A little bit tired because, well, my sleep schedule is still fucked beyond all belief. But doing generally well. I've got a bunch of these. Um, let's see. Yeah, now let's, let's I'm, get I'm, this. I'm well here today, myself. Except let's I am a bit worried for Hillian. 
Okay, destroy 25 Arachnostron turrets using sticky bombs. Oh, there is a way to bypass this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Improvements, general improvements to the gen quick hook, fast hands, reload speeds. Yep, definitely getting that. <laughs> and flaming hook. The meat hook will set enemies on fire for a short time, causing them to drop armor from a super <laughs> shotgun blast. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So yeah, by the way, I managed to 100% all missions, and I have basically unlocked every single thing in the base. Okay. In base game, I presume. Now this is so. Is it? Guess. To, well, Doom Eternal Mastery. You now have all the tools you need to succeed in Doom Eternal: glory kills, flame belts, chainsaw, blood punch, ice bomb, frag slash fragment. Upgrade and combine your tools to do massive damage and recover critical resources during combat. Okay, so we we're not going to get any more tools or toys with that. More guns, yes, but less oh, toys okay. or the equipment. All the special things you will get, so it's slightly lying. And let's see here from Marco. I'm good. I made a bike out of old parts, but guess who? who whose foot got hurt again? You just don't oh have much dear. luck with that, huh? Oh, you actually survived. Yes, I think the final mission remains, but I wanna watch your first. I am most likely gonna do it off the street. All right. All, All right. right. Good luck with that, then. Yeah. Oh, that's been a while. I, I do still remember the ending, I think. Somewhat. Oh, and Magnetron. Oh, big boy. Hey, come here, come here. Let's see from Marco. Are you so drunk here to see he has Doom Guy's helmet? Yep. <laughs> Is that an old idea that we forgot to do on the first Doom game? Doom game! I swear, I, I blame you, Hillian, for this. <laughs> Dude, but yeah. Damn it. I remember the, this the other day, or rather... Yeah, I'll take that. Well, I think Hillian just did it out for fun, and then realized, oh, why were you supposed to do this? Yeah. Oh. Uh, jump ahead there, Pizza Lava. Go ahead and ask. Hear you? Uh, yes, Mark, we're gonna do that for some of the other games as well. Yeah, it's easy enough to do, I just have to play around with uh, paint a bit. Okay, from. Okay, do one more first. He <laughs> got anything hits to the collection. But he does. Kiss a lover. You're all gonna do the DLCs for this game? Maybe. Well, the DLCs are continuation of the. Actually, yeah, they're all of the story. Okay. So, yeah. They're not just filler, they both DLCs are story. Yeah. Need more ammo. Uh, I need something small to kill. Seems I'm stuck with two big boys. There we go. The priest has stopped moving. I will lock in signal now. It's probably should have used the tricks a bit more, but oh well. Okay. Is there anything up there, perhaps? Nope. Completely missed that. 
Hello. Overdrive? <laughs> okay. Is apparently getting a face full of flat tapish all of a sudden. Wait, what? Vlad Tepish? Dracula. <laughs> yeah, no, you're well, you're really, what? Oh, now I get why you're getting feathers to him. It's the glare. Yeah, I, that that took me a moment. I was wondering what the heck does it mean? Doom guy doesn't drink demon blood. Let's see. We got all of the normal combats. We got all of those. We mi yeah, we, we skipped the secret encounters. I might do those some other time. Okay. Yep. All three of these. Hey, so we've got another battery. Hmm? Oh. Oh wait. The key. The doom key doesn't count, I guess. And let's see. Marco, will you play the Castlevania games? We'll probably play some of those. I have one in specific, uh, specifically in mind that I will stream eventually. A DS Castlevania. And actually the first Castlevania I ever played. Uh, let's see. I yeah, originally thought it was no. Morbius just with yellow eyes. <laughs> uh, did we have a potential issue with that one? Uh, this is not technical, just more of... Um, Emulation Partial stuff. nudity? With Castlevania? Don't really think so. Uh, you forgot? There was a bare breast woman as a boss fight. Maybe they did a showcase someday. Oh, that, that was Lords of Shadow. Yeah, that yeah. one is in my concern. Hmm, maybe. I don't think it got struck or anything when we did that. And if that is still there, we'll need to do a little bit of uh, careful editing. Yeah, for uh, YouTube is fine with it. Let's like... Despite many people think... Boobs are, and such are not bannable on YouTube unless it's shown in sexual context. It's... Like, if you should porn, then yes, you will get a strike and ban, possibly. Captain Bubble Pipe, really? Uh, let's see, Marco, I got every Castlevania game on my phone, okay. Uh, well, I haven't played too thing. many, but I I definitely wouldn't be against playing more Castlevanias. Uh, da -da -da -da. I really thought it was Morbius, yeah. Overdrive gives speed and infinite ammo, okay, that would have been easier, <laughs> that would have been really useful. Uh, I've looked a little at them and it looks super great. Uh, yeah, I'm unable to purchase those, so I will be watching you guys for that. Okay. Don't think yeah, I've really uh, heard much about the old gods. Uh, not quit. Uh, I have heard. And people love them. Let's see. The hunt for the priest through his arctic base has brought you to the Doom Hunter research and excavation facility, where the final showdown will take place. Knowing he must face you, he has reconstructed an old enemy as his sentry to protect him. Defeat the Doom Hunter and the priest will fall. Okay, I think I've heard of these. Or rather, gotten a glimpse of these through Mighty Doom. Let's see, what challenge do we have? Find a collectible album, use the auto map, and kill three demons with a single frag grenade. Now, let's not fall off this thing. Okay, dude, dude's got hops. Uh, oh, we've got a, a new person here uh, that I can't read due to the pixelation. It's very dark text. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, uh, yeah, don't want to pause me. Fight. Greet the new person soon. Okay, breather, breather, yes, uh, let's see, welcome, nullified, hello, <laughs> welcome to the stream, hope you're doing well, welcome we're nullified. playing Doom Eternal. Uh, uh, do we have a stream on the plane? The is stable now, and his guardian is somewhere in the facility ahead. Oh. 
Thank you for the follow, Nullified. Hope you'll enjoy the show. What are those? They look like the spy drones from Star Wars. I can't even swap weapons, apparently. Yeah, I have a set overlay. Just due to um, sharing broadband over my end, it means that sometimes things get pixelated for me. It'll be hard for to read. Yeah, the tier is getting the screen share not of the game itself, but of OBS, so we can also read chat along. Yeah, that means that I don't have a the full 10 seconds delay. I, I keep it from between instant to maybe one and sometimes two seconds delay. Uh, but usually direct. Yep, wrong button. I'm still too freaking used to R being a reload of sorts. Uh, let's see, do you have a stream overlay, uh, like a chat overlay? I use it quite a lot when I stream. All right then, uh, are you using OBS for Streamlabs? OBS. And what exactly do you mean with a stream overlay? Like, we have well, all of this around the game at the moment. Uh, let me see. Okay, there. One, two, three. He oh, hello. There. Anything in the alcoves? Oh, there is something. Let me grab this first. Let's see. It would look Okay, not sure why Dash didn't want to work there for a second. Uh, no, I, I have op <clears throat> I have uh, OBS open on my second monitor, so I can keep an eye on it constantly. Uh, that was a mistake. Should have gone for <laughs> the walls first. There. Pizza lover. <laughs> Pretty sure I have like 30 extra lives. <laughs> no need to go bragging. Uh, wait, 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 really? Wait, 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 I saw something. I saw an up with an upgrade. You? Yeah, who was up there? Ah, here. See? Yeah, yeah I saw it there. There was you just run away from it. And let's get the micro missiles. Thank you, Vega. Okay, now let's get this. Okay, apparently dashes don't refill after a swing like that. So that was my mistake. Let's see. I need to keep the upgrade. Now, it's, falling in the pit in this game is not a death. It uh, just puts us back up with some health damage or armor if we have it. That's, that's actually good. Yeah. Okay, another point of this. I think I feel like you're gonna need all of those coins in real life, especially when you ever you need to flip a coin. There. The thing. <laughs> The thing was weigh like 10 kilos though. Okay. okay. Okay, it didn't let me dash even though I touched ground there, so I'm guessing it wants you to touch well what it designates as actual ground before it'll let you dash again. Okay. Oh, wait up. I'm being dumb. I thought I just hadn't grabbed it yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. There, there. Any other goodies? 
Uh, let's see. Another fight. I can send you a, a, a SS if you want, if you switch to Streamlabs. It's not an OBS, I you know, don't think. Um, and then Marco, <laughs> you just follow me? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I, I think I prefer OBS, but thank you for the offer, uh, Nullified. Up, uh, pinkies. Okay, the pinky is a heavy demon that charges at the player with its front armor. Its tail is its weak point. Either double jump over the pinky or dash out of the way, and then shoot its tail to deal massive damage. Okay. Hello, pinky. Down, Pinky! Down! Ew! Oh, you, you've improved your turning rates! Yep. Guess he had a bit <laughs> of a war framing? <laughs> okay, did oh you see God. the achievement that just popped off? I missed that. Uh, the, it's the magic number, kill 666 demons. <laughs> well, that's an achievement! Come here, you! Thank you! Oh, it's a revenant! Oop. Come here, you. Okay, I should leave some of the small fries alive. Uh, yes, this will be usually stream for two hours. Did we, we did try to have a week uh, during the week that we tried to sleep in for three hours when possible, which. Um, is not too often. Yeah, usually something comes in the way, but uh, it has happened. But two hours is the more regular. Hi, Pinky. I'm running. That. Oh. And realized that there was a second one. Okay, let's see if we're on the pizza lover. Cool, in oh, that hello. case, I'll just go and listen to all the music piece I have collected. Oh dear. And, oh, I thought we have six viewers, don't we? Watching. Okay, <laughs> that's a new. Uh, but yeah, welcome everyone who, may, who is watching. Uh, we are a little bit. Uh, that was a new one. A little bit busy with fighting most of the time. So sorry if I'm not too chatty. Uh, I don't know which ones that might be. Uh, they are not chatty at the moment, so they are probably listening. Oh dear. Wait, did, it, did I just do damage by dashing into that zombie? Uh, yep. oh, damn it. I was too amused to pay attention to the health bar. Oh. Rip and tear. Rip and tear! As it was them doing that yeah, on the ground earlier. Let me. Oh, I missed that. Oh, fuck. Come here, you! And that useful little handles. Oh, I forgot to swap the, <laughs> the sign on my door. I think. There we go.
Yeah, no zombies alive. We wanted to see if I could bonk one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just grab up some resources. And let's see. Da -da -da. Oh, yeah. Did you say you plan to do a montage video whenever you bonked a zombie? Yeah, if, there, if it happens enough time. I, it's happened like only eight times so far across the previous two streams. I'm going to need to cut something in half. Uh, chat is going a bit long, so good thing I have this on the side. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. It's not an OBS, I think. Da -da -da. <laughs> it's the guys from Teletubbies? What? Uh, I hate these goddamn pink frickers. Uh, I hate the pinkies, they're so annoying. Uh, I swear when you said random Marco, I heard <laughs> Manny Marco, the villain from ESO, really? Uh, I just bombast bomb Doom Eternal. Um, I've completed like 14 times or, or something. I got all I got all of them. Uh, when I ask you, you guys something, sure, you guys usually stream for two hours, yes? Uh, cool, in that case, I'll just go and listen to all the music this I have collected. Three hours is rare. <laughs> Six viewers. Uh, the thing that happened today was that I was singing and forgot that I was in VC with the boys from the group chat and they were trying to figure out who was singing in the end. <laughs> it took them 25 minutes to figure out it was me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, so I'm pretty sure Pinky is from Teletubbies. Wrong, wrong Pinky. Uh, I just got locked out of my Twitch. <laughs> okay, I need to cut something in half. Oh, kill the... Okay, what is this Guardian going to be, then? Hmm... I know of at least two possible candidates. Oh, I know the answer. It was not easy to find an opponent worthy of the Slayer, but I think you will be impressed. Hmm... Uh, these things. Okay. Yeah, Hello? that was what you saw in the temple earlier and knocked over. All right. Haven't been missing much. I missed something there, it seems. Uh, can I go back for that? Probably not. Hello? As if Marco? Was that a guy or a girl? Uh, uh... uh I mean, the Hell Priest are guys. Of that? I'm, I'm pretty sure the Slayer murders indiscriminately. Ah, oh, we climb onto... And they fall away, I'm guessing? Yep. Okay. And from Durban Lutifer first. Maybe time for the hunter thing? As I have not played, I did not know. Yeah, I'd not know. Hello? Then you use things are stupidly stealthy when you want to be. <laughs> really, I almost died from going off the ledge because of that thing. Uh, let's Indeed. see, there's something here. There's no some of the team's bloods are blue and purple. Oh, hello, Pinky. This may explain the purple yeah, but... blood moves we saw in an earlier level. Oh, can we can we do a bonk? Can we do a bonk? Yeah, no bonk. Uh... Yeah. I, I don't know if I don't know if it's from aiming somewhere specifically or not. Uh, also, we haven't checked out the codex in a bit because we've seen some new enemies. Yeah. Uh, let's get Pinky here. Okay. Yeah. Pointing out the tail. Let's see. As hell emerged on Earth, the Pinky began to appear on terrestrial soil in great number, uh, rapidly becoming the bane of existence to arc uh, military fortifications. Utilizing its armored frontal carapace, the Pinky is able to penetrate defensive encampments, breaking through walled defense, and using its ramming ability to upturn and immobilize armored vehicles. 
Arc deployments, dependent on their ability to hold the line against encroaching forces of hell, could have been disrupted and even overtaken by a single pinky, who were it able to penetrate and break through their defensive matrix, allowing a greater demon influx to pour in after it. The Ark rapidly prioritized the, tar the target status of the pinky, issuing high-grade bombardment to prevent the pinky from gaining proximity. <laughs> so, basically, they fire on these things with artillery to be rid of them. Yeah, and do the Lord... Pink is all not weak unless you know where to aim. Yeah. Since, and let's be honest, it is hard at times to get behind to shoot a weak point. Yeah, not, not many have the mobility of Doom Guy. And these were the things that popped in during the trial earlier. They're prowlers. Let's see. A creature of darkness, the, the Prowler hunts from the shadows, preferring stealth and concealment to open conflict. Imbued with perit Peritol, uh, I have no idea how to say that, Infravision, the Prowler is able to see uh, that which is unseen to the naked eye. Known among the Sentinels as the Night Stalker, the Prowler's pre-natural uh, sense of sight makes it a, a lethal hunter, capable of tracking its prey even in the pitchest black of dark. Believed to be peripherally descendant to the lesser imp brooding, the prowler is rarely seen in groups, forsaking pack hunting for the precision of the uh, solitary pursuit. All right. Uh, let's see. What are uh, what are my PC specs? Uh, since I have Task Manager open on the side here, I can tell you I have an i9 uh, 1290, and uh, what was it in the, the uh, yeah an RTX 3070. So, pretty up-to-date, I'd say. Not state-of-the-art, but I couldn't afford state-of-the-art anyways. <laughs> Probably for uh, the best, for the state-of-the-art currently have a lot of issues. Yeah. Let's see. I I'm curious if we'll see some of these demons only in the, the Slayer Trials. Because we haven't seen the Dread Knight outside of those. Oh, I'm pretty sure they will arrive too sooner. Because they're all basically mm. elites. Yeah, elites of elites. It looks like a fun little plaything. Alright. I kind of find it, it, this level be fun in a sense. Actually, no, I should not say. I should not spoil this. Ah, there. But you probably will laugh when you realize what you, you're, you're going to be doing. Okay. Uh, we're there too. All right, give me that. Uh, is this supposed to be a hindrance or something? Also, another more. Oh, hello. Oh, are you doing that? You look like a freaking strong yeah. thing or something. They Come are here. Doing that. Let's pull the plug. Harkus. Let's see. Plasma rifle, overload, energy shields, and trigger an explosion. Weak to the blood punch. Let's see. The product of inhuman biomechanical engineering, the carcass was created in the remote labs of the cultist enclave. Neither truly living nor dead exists in a state of perpetual reanimation, with cybernetic armature simulating a living pulse within a decaying organic host. Devised as a means of extending a soldier's usefulness in combat after death, the unliving host can only be destroyed by severing the body from its cybernetic implants. All right. And let's see, so, chat. Go ahead. Cyborg zombie. Yeah, even more than normal. Uh, maybe time for that hunter thing. <laughs> That's not eyeball collection too. <laughs> well, pinkies. Yeah, if, if you hit them up from the back, pinkies are pretty weak. Uh, Prowler isn't that the guy from Spider-Man? That, that, that is one of Spider-Man's many enemies. And my response times are way off because my internet's lagging like mad. Okay, pizza is back and found their two favorites. Okay. I'm leaving the zombies for bonks. I'm gonna guess he combined a pizza and a burger to one dish.
And monkeys like with snacks. Yep. Between each other's way. Okay, almost got my goose cooked there. Okay, is there something specific I need to aim? Yep, there we go. Oh, damn it. I was too slow to do it. I will be ready now if that happens again. There we go. Okay, you need to aim for the torso. Okay, well, that's a new free <laughs> more for the record. Hmm. Hold on a second. Okay, I, I think the frame rate on the stream is actually a bit lower than what I'm seeing. Okay. That explains why some of the recordings have looked a bit slow in comparison. Huh. Hmm. Probably because this is maxing out the GPU for most of... Okay, I only just noticed that. Sorry about that. Not sure how I could really fix that, though. Uh, I guess lowering the graphics further would somehow help with that, maybe? Uh, flex... Let's put motion blur down low. Um. Oh, that, that is a big drop. And no, back to 100%. Okay, yeah, that, that is just going to be a nuisance, sadly, that the game looks a bit slower on stream than it does for me. Sorry about that. It took me two and a half streams to notice. Okay. There's that secret. Well, we do upload our vi videos to YouTube, luckily enough. Yes, still, I, that the lagging should stay be in that as well. Hmm. Oh. Oops. And yeah, this uh, this we've known about since the first. Uh, now, what is this? Is this an album? No, uh, <laughs> it's a lost soul. Doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. We are going to play with that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, glory kills faster, movement. Let's take this. Saving throw. <laughs> of course, a bunch of nerds. No, it, it, it doesn't happen too often that uh, footage on OBS looks slowed down. Uh, let's see. Can I see? Uh, uh, that's what I see as well. Therefore, I, I see a little yellow dot in my corner telling me that I might have slowed down from my broadband since, again, I think that someone downstairs is watching Netflix fix or something. Hmm. Let's see. What is this? Resolution scaling mode? I don't really know what that really means, but so let's turn it off for the moment. Maybe that'll help speed things up a bit. No, I, I, I think... It's... I think the what I think for some reason OBS is caching it at third more 30 FPS and okay that has uh, probably because we're looking at a static screen at the moment. It, oh that wait why, why is my CPU just jumping to full power now? Oh, okay huh. Let's see Dark Viceroy uh, Viceroy to the Chaos Throne Ranak has long served as one of Hell's emissaries on Earth, laying the foundation for the planet's inevitable invasion. In secrecy, Rannoch has prepared the Hellgate, awaiting the omen of the Sixth Seal, that which signals the Age of Rapture, which will cleanse Earth as foretold by the Maker Prophets. 
Van Eck worked closely with Olivia Pierce during the development of the original Mars project, and since her death he has taken total control of the UAC. His promises of wealth, power and everlasting life has corrupt have corrupted the organization from within, absolving its uh, as employees of their moral conscience, accelerating the sacrifice of Earth in exchange for the lure of Argent energy and the promise of undying union with Hell. Dave Rannick previously served the King of Argent Denur as a sentinel priest, guiding the Argentus uh, spiritual growth as a hallowed figure. After the betrayal, he abandoned his homeworld, working on behalf of the Khan Maker and personally overseeing the transformation of vi viable planets. Rennick has constructed a veritable fortress in the polar caps to protect him during his dark work. Okay, so he is the reason the UAC went mad. Yeah. I ask good back to the pier. Pear, how you say it? Which apparently yeah. has a handlebar. Yeah, stealing away my toy. Can I go grab that oh, still? It's not stealing. It's more what you doing. Okay, it's putting up a. Okay, it's, this basically has base has this place has been turned into a uh, production line for those things. There. Yep. It wouldn't look. It wouldn't let me move further along. Is okay. At least we have this here. We do it. Got. I need to. I need to face it more. Okay. Well, going into the fight. <laughs> With lowered health. That's going to be a nuisance. Yep, never mind. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Back, Marco back up snacks. <laughs> Lava bath there look painful. Yeah, I have ice cream, vanilla, and lemon flavor. Gummy worms, chocolate, and cocoa for a drink. The frames are fine for me. Uh, it, it is just a big notice for me myself. I th actually. I think it's going faster now. Uh, that may explain a lot. You're lagging. OMG, the amount of chocolates your teeth are gonna hate you. Uh, so the dentist appointment in like two weeks. Uh, preparing to give him a hell are you, Mark? <laughs> toys are so yeah, but the toys are cute. I definitely would want a few of those. Okay. Actually, let's try out these for a second. Yep. So that will damage. Yes! Bon appetit! Okay. But the best one is the Doom Guy toy since he interacts with it, yeah. It's also the very first one you find. Oh wait, you're one of those traps. No. Here we go. Now let's see. Gotten three of the points so far. And what is that big yellow part of it? Is that for the boss fight? That's certainly coming up. Wait. Okay, they're just in fighting for the moment. Not missing in. And wait. Okay, there's something this way. Behind a locked door. And there is something this way that I overlooked. This way, I'm getting I'm getting turned around. <laughs> All right. Hmm. 
Hopefully that's in the area below. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah, I can't go back to that, I'm pretty sure. Probably just some lore. Sad to miss out on that, but not too essential. Really? I was doing master being to low, but luckily enough, and some people have put up a lot of the lore onto YouTube. Yep. Bonk. But different kinds. Hmm. Yeah, we are so heading into a boss fight now. Wait, what? Wasn't there an incubus here? Where did that go? Incubus? At a gunner. Mancubus, bleh. Yeah, I was saying. That is no way in heck an incubus. Oh, oh, hello. So that's what's in those things. Uh, remember who pushed the button? Uh, which button specifically? You want to do just that? Yeah. Uh, you remember it was you, correct? Yeah. Uh, okay, you're saying that basically I just finished up their work. Maybe, maybe not. That way. Okay, good thing there was glass there. Oh dear. But yeah, it, it, it has become a bit famous for people love calling it for a certain name with this whole thing. But it's kind of unique. Hold on. Oh, there's, wait, there's something on top of this thing? Yep. <laughs> one, one shot kill on stagger? <laughs> okay, a cheat code. Uh, let's not go back down. Uh, let's see. Double load first. Copy with half a body. Fits a lot of 3000. Say it to double load first. The British probably ate the order, huh? <laughs> what? I don't think they would. Come here. Okay, I think he actually chucked the head this time. Oh, uh, if you were confused, the British used to eat mummies. Okay. Oh, that... Yeah, they did honeyed mummies as a breakfast cereal, basically, during the 1800s. <laughs> okay. And we need a red key card now. Let's see. Progress is that way. So... Oh, hello. There's the key card. Oh yeah, but uh, also put in her power. I, I'm kind of glad he quickly stopped doing that. <laughs> okay, task failed successfully. Wait, what did you say? Task failed successfully because I missed the swing bar but still managed to land. Also, gimme. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's why my brain broke for a moment. <laughs> let's see. Napalm belts. Heavy and super heavy demons stay on fire longer. Uh, ammo and health on that. Blood, health for blood. Armor for blood. 
drop armor at a faster rate. Let's, let's go with this one. Actually, this ammo. Oh, wait, I, that was a dumb. I could have done, I could have gotten the flame belts recharge. Oh, well, I'll yeah, grab that at yeah. the next one. Yeah, the, the whole thing about making the enemies burn longer sounds very useful as well. Bonk. Damn it, I wasn't ready. Oop. Me? Okay. Key cards. Anything else around here? Nope. Yep. Almost missed that. Okay. Was it not the Slayer who brought the demons to us? The con maker has you to thank for the gift of Argent energy. It is you who are responsible for your people's suffering. Blow it out your ass. Your word means literally nothing. Okay, open up. Oh, hello. Yep. If there was a kick button, I could have sent the rest over the edge. Yep. More bonkables. There, better use for you. Ooh. Oh wait, wrong. Perfect for that one. Ooh. Ooh. Need something to kill. See, the, the bones of mummies and stuff were turned into power. There's also the gyms had weird protein powder back then. <laughs> uh, music is great in this game. Game, game. <laughs> Richard, did you take my keyboard since it types really bad? Uh, no, Wait. I swallowed it. Are you hearing something? Pizza Mama did the same thing I said earlier by mistake. Uh. For once, Mark, we're having good internet, it seems. Let's see. So, minus ass, this is what I mean with that. But how's it going for you guys out where you or guys are at? Uh, yeah, except for continuing sleep issues, I'm doing pretty decent. Yeah, I'm doing Do pretty it. decent myself. I woke up early, but I was not able to snooze quite the, uh, till my regular time. So, I had slight issue snoozing due to um, something I think he'll remember that I call uh, an special name of Seagull Orchestra. Four and a half five in the morning. Okay, so now we're getting Prowlers before we're getting Dread Knights. Okay, but I forgot to do a bonk. Wait, can we do a bonk now then? Now we didn't bonk, we carved. That's what that one did. Oh, right. It, 
Och det är fem hål och dumt. Oh yeah, we don't have dude sound. Nope. Okay, enough of your pets. Okay, totally not ominous. Uh, do you want me to tell you what people call this uh, level? Uh, in a bit, because we pretty much know what the thing is we're going to fight. But let's leave. Let's give it an introduction still. Are oh, you still getting assembled right in front of us? Up, drop down. Oh, there's something below. Ooh, apparently the uh, super shotguns who can stop a prowler's teleportation leap teleports. Okay. Seems well as getting grabbed and all that. Really? I'm pretty sure I hit that. Yeah, yeah I'm... Okay. That totally, it should have grabbed, the game should have grabbed on there. Especially with the great being gone. Giblets. Near you? Yep. Lead back a bit too far. Anything hidden around here? Uh, let's see. Uh, good to know there. It's apparently eye infection season out uh, where I live. A lot of people have been getting eye infections and stuff. Uh, zombies, seagulls. Uh, one good tip is that there is an annoying prowler to. Uh, yep, meat hook will interrupt. Uh, there's something here. Uh, mine oh. and pizza's Wi Fi is ass right now. Uh, I mean, you... no, I just regular seagulls, but they're still annoying. Yeah, they, they used to be quite an issue around here, but they been lessened in numbers quite a lot. They're still around, but in far lesser numbers. Same uh, thing here. They have been calling, but just some mornings they would decide to get together and do an orchestra. Yeah, so you can just dash into it to break it. No need to punch. At least the grade is gone. It's a cool looking rear interior. Long neck. Yeah, long enough to easily cut. Yeah. You guys jealous of my chainsaw? Also, this place is the world's most inefficient assembly line. Like the holy thing, the whole thing about it, an assembly line is that it's supposed to put things together quicker. Well, there's a reason for it to be like this. Let's see. Once a race, a race, a race of beast-like hunters, the Doom Hunter creature was known to Sentinel warriors in ages past as lethal stalkers of the Metal Age. Extracted from the frozen depths of the polar tundra, the Doom Hunter belongs to an ancient race uncovered during coldest excavation in the remote Arctic. Preserved below the frozen ice for millions of years, the unearthed remains of this creature were deemed suitable for reconstruction, becoming the subject of cultic, uh, cultist necroregenerative bio-experimentation. 
Within the remote cultist citadel, a high-tech ritual altar which towers over the Golgothian ruins. <coughs> The Doom Hunter was ceremoniously and systematically resurrected and rebuilt. While the majority of its components are now cybernetic, it retains a high degree, uh, degree of mental faculty, a sentient, brutal hunting instinct augmented with the armaments of a tank division. Okay. That chainsaw yeah. man has it on their head, Marco. I've heard that the show is... I've heard that that uh, show is good, or anime is good. Uh, let's see, let's... Is that back far back enough? Let me see. Can we get that bit there? No, I think we need to go back Our further for that. The... Oh dear. Let's see, I'm curious about what this bit up ahead is. Uh, oh, that is actually quite a distance. Hmm. Is there a way to get to there specifically? Or closer to there, in any case. Oh yeah, this this is the closest point. Okay. Now, what is this thing? How did I miss this? Let's see. Doom Hunter Base. Let's see. The UAC's polar cultist facility is built around the ruins of an ancient Argenta settlement constructed over 60 million years ago during Argenta Noor's extraterrestrial expansion. Frozen carcasses of the Ag Agadon hunters have been located in the glacial wastes surrounding the complex, and though their DNA structure reveals them to be indigenous to Earth, there is no fossilized record of these creatures beyond the frozen territories of the Argenta settlement. Carbon dating of the remarkably well-preserved beasts suggests they are nearly 80 million years old, predating all known uh, forms of complex Earth-based life. Continuing the cyber-demonic experimentation that began on, on Mars, <clears throat> The cultists study the Agadon's potential for resurrection and cyber augmentation. A similar program occurred on, at this location millennia ago, when they, when they priests, often cited as, as help priests, bred the creatures and genetically modified them to function as doom hunters, fearsome mutants designed to battle the doom slayer and his night sentinels during the unholy crusades on Arch de Noor. Sentinel records corroborate this uh, through their military texts, with many reports of these creatures among the ranks of the demonic forces assaulting the armies of the North during the Argenta Civil War. Once the USC cultist movement publicly announced its intentions for Earth, the cyber demonic program was revealed to be focused on updating the Doom Hunter schematics, upgrading their combat prowess. A new assembly center was constructed near the cultist facility, and a powerful graft tram allowed UAC workers to safely transport the biological and mechanical components needed for the process. The resurrection of an uh, Agadon hunter uh, requires cutting-edge te cutting technology to uh, be used in conjunction with occult rituals conducted by the UAC's necrosurgeons, an unholy fusion of science and sorcery. Okay. Necro... Surgeons? Yeah, bas basically a more scientific version of a necromancer. Okay. Oh dear. Is there anything else obvious to grab? There's a coin there and the secrets. Right next to the cheats. And how do you get in there? Wait, there's a hole there. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. It's almost like they lengthened the line to uh, taunt the Slayer. Uh, damn, 60 million years ago, that's a long time. 80 million years, that's... <laughs> they bred them with... They, they bred the things amongst themselves. It's uh, getting turned around. Yeah, this way. Yes, yeah, necromancer doctors. 
Isn't the necromancer the one who raised the dead quite literally? Yeah. No, no, not in breeding. Similar to how we cow. Yeah. Like how cows uh, and such are bred. So instead of for slaughter, they well for different. <laughs> we're bred for a different kind of slaughter. There must be some way to Is open this the... up. And we're bred for combat. Yeah. I don't want to hang around too much, but I do want to pry and grab some stuff. I see no way of getting in there without a lot of over complex stuff, so let's just move on. Actually, let's uh, challenges. Three demons with a single grenade. Probably probably should have tried that a few times. And collectible album is probably over there. And oh well. Here we go. Time for the hunter to become the hunted. I thought you would appreciate the sentry I chose. The great Agadon hunters from the Telos realm, though long thought to be extinct, created to hunt only the Slayer and his night sentinels during the Unholy Crusades. Some improvements on their design have been made. Enjoy what is undoubtedly my finest work. Okay. This is going to take a bit of work. Yeah, and uh, behold, Oop. you have now done build your own boss level. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah. Super heavy demon that specializes in. Yo, just be the boss. <laughs> Let's see, it's shield and sled are weak points. Destroy the shield with the plasma rifle to briefly disable it. Destroy the sled to permanently disable its protective shield and missiles. Okay. Nope. And immediately it goes for a lock on, huh? The bit lower. There was a switch to that one that kind of was with your shoes. So I could blow up the sled first. But yeah, Alien, to be able to progress over here, you had to build your own boss. This thing is fast. Yeah. yeah. It immediately on our ass again. Come on. There we go. Yep. Deal with you. Somehow I accidentally swapped. You. And let's see. From Doom and the Furs. These are what? For a snack and you're fighting the Doom Hunter? Or not? Yep, yep. Missed half the fight. Okay. Yep. Okay, I see a second pick on its health bar. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, apparently those things come equipped with a boombox. There. Here. Okay, open heart surgery. Get out of my fucking way. Oh dear gods. The massacre. That's that. I don't have all count. Ah. There we go. Out of practically everything. <laughs> okay. Oh, I missed a message from him. Oh, oh, hear me out. Now you disable his ear, then you use your shame gun to ma make so many holes in him that he becomes trans transparent. And we don't have the shame gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. We are not done yet. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, he made. Of course, they make multiple. Yeah, it is a factory. Excellent. Smash the heretics. Let's see me duplicates. Hi, Mark. Actually, there. There. These things are really aggressive, but they're supposed to be. There. Yeah, holy. Damaged one. Mm, oh, there. Did, did you see you max out on the other episode? Oops. Ah, there. It is now for some reason. Yeah, I don't know, I think some people didn't mention that this level part is probably the one that does the most CPU usage. I think. Enough.
there. It's weird to hear them talk. Bonk. Because most enemies don't talk in this game. In Like hard butter. <laughs> the beast. Does does he not seek enhanced power, gifts to aid him in his noble conquest? Perhaps in return for my for your silence. And he's he's talking about the Doomslayer pizza. What is with those coins? <laughs> Still twitching. Oh, let's. The blood punch shockwave is now more powerful. Okay. Nice. All right. I hope we don't see those two. Okay. Why was that flickering on stream? You saw that too. Yeah. There might be something off with the game capture. Yeah, for I feel like there are no you and me are on here. I don't see the yellow dot, so maybe I'm not having issues on my end. Maybe it due to the, it using so much CPU, even had trouble to share over the Discord and OBS. Let's see, is there anything in here? Let's see, capture alert, capture cursor, use that's not necessary. Uh, okay, don't see what might be causing any issues on that end. Let's see. I'm a side game, man. Like, the game is behaving well otherwise. Let me deselect everything so it, that doesn't show up every... Uh, uh, let's see. To deter or hang out now, you disable his shields, then use your chain gun to... Yeah. Uh, to, to, let, uh, or not, I guess that's fine. I swear to God, you get the chain gun in some previous level. Maybe in some uh, secret somewhere. Uh, okay, we missed a few toys. Battery and the disc. And yeah, this is just for an event, so I think we can just skip this for the most part. Oh. Hello. There's the chain gun skin. Okay. Not of interest to us, really. All right. Two priests down. One, two. Our system is being corrupted. This game has come far enough. I will have her transmission removed in a moment. Despite the loss of the priests, Earth will fall, and my people will survive. I will answer the human's prayers, reward those that believe. This hub was of Maker design. She knows the systems well. The final priest will be moved to a more discreet location, so our work can continue without further disruption. The third hell priest signal is no longer visible to us. There is a 41.3% increase of demonic activity at the nexus of the initial invasion. That is the largest gore nest on Earth. I will set the portal coordinates for the super gore nest now. Super gore nest? <laughs> okay. And it's in the mountains of Italy? Uh, Italy or, or right it next to it. It's, oh it's... dear. Robert Prince, Doom 2 in the Sandy City, so I did not misread that. Wait. Hmm? 
<laughs> okay, it's mu it's music. It, that's where the that's where the <laughs> that's where the uh, collectible albums go for soundtracks. Okay, now this thing is done. Okay, ballista. Uh, come on, if you're going to say tap the viewer to actually show it. Let's see, Ballista. The weapon of choice for Sentinel Marksmen. It is said in Sentinel Battle Lord that a single battalion of archers defended the walled city of uh, Ilkana for 10 days and 10 nights, armed only with their ballistas. A precise weapon, the ballista fires a twin beam of superheated argent, vaporizing its target on impact. So yeah, th this is basically our new gauze rifle, I believe. And it's very much a power crossbow. Oh, oh, well, I'm, 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 I'm not sure that. someone. I'm not sure someone can be able to call an archer when they're wielding this thing. Okay. <laughs> Time to get gory. All oh, right. Still have some batteries. Uh, let's see. Need that she is yeah, also a Reen's voice actor. It's either become a nerf gun or a really big powerful water gun, whichever you think you, know, you like to think it is. Let's see. A professional Doom guy suit. Uh, let's actually grab this here. Yes. And then another. Okay. Uh, okay, this thing uses the same ammo as the plasma gun. Let's immediately get an upgrade for this. Let's see. Arbalist holds to charge up an energy protector that, emb oh. <laughs> that embeds in demons and then explodes. Okay. And oh. this... I mean, if oh. you can see now why it's called a... But they call the ones using them an archer? Yeah. Destroyer blade. Charge up and launch an energy blade that will cleave enemies as it flies. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'll take I this one. Hard, but let's <laughs> Thank you. Okay, anything else of much interest here? How many more do we have? Um, ah, you. You we can use. This will use up our last two batteries. Uh, bro, you guys are not ready for the cosmetics you get for the Mancubus. The Ballista is a super great weapon to take down the Kako Demons. Yeah, it, it would keep our distance from them, at the absolute least. But I think I'll probably use it for the big boys more. Okay, let's correct our mistake from last time. There. Now we can get armor faster. And more. Okay. We once we, when we have two more, we can go get that one. It's good old anvil. Wait, I think there's a helmet there. Uh, did I just see a a screw reference? Not uh, sure. Uh, Trying to guide Hill is like trying to hurt a cat. But again, whenever we play games together, he's like an excited dog. Okay. Let's go clean up a mess. My like clarification, it means I have a whole time with keeping track of him. Let's see. With the elimination of Ranak, only one Hell Priest remains. As you prepare for the final encounter with the remaining priest, your plans are interrupted by the Khan Maker. In an attempt to ensure the consumption of Earth, she has hidden the priest in Acceleriate Hell's invasion of the planet. 
The increased number of demons overflowing from the super core nest threatens to overtake Earth. Gain access to the nest and destroy it before it's too late. Okay, something from what she said earlier. It makes it sound like the makers are feasting on these worlds, like they are the, the heads of hell. a slight change in the environment. Fear not, it's all part of the plan. The Super Gornest location is nearby. This is the site where the invasion began, the oldest and most corrupted location on the planet. The Ark fought hard, but they were eventually driven out by the demons. Anything else from this one? Nope. Okay. Welp. Ooh. Okay. Hellgate Italy? Apparently. Bonk. <laughs> and part of it as well. Nuisance. Let's see, the hell growths. The hell growths formations on Earth have undergone great scrutiny by experts at the Allied Nations. These cancer like growths exhibit alarming cellular reproduction rates, outpacing any biological life form previously known. The structural pattern is chaotic, almost random, with only one identifiable constant the emergence of totem like nests, which at full maturity resonate with powerful electromagnetic frequencies capable of producing a form of inverse quantum field. These fields, once activated, result in the fabrication of hell portals, tears in space time which serve as gateways between dimensions. Okay. This is the bad news. Yeah. Nothing hidden. There we go. That's probably the strongest combo one to hit combo that we have at the moment. I think we've hit 12 by now. Oh, they won't be surprised. Oh, and they noticed. Yep. Stick managed to stick that guy. Did you just call him Otis? No. You. I'll take that. I think we still need to see what happens if we glory kill a, a mancubus from behind. Well, we may have to try that next time we see a mancubus. Like here. It's picking on the zombies. Those are for me to pick on. Okay, there we go. Yep. Bonk. Oh, it looks so painful. No, I'm not interested in your heart base. Yeah. I think Red I think I really need to use the chainsaw a lot more than I am. Oh. Okay, that also works. <laughs> 
Oh, hello, big boy. We've been seeing a lot less of you lately. Take care of that. After, but I'll take it. Like I'll take that. Lies and dies. Yeah. It looks like when we do a glory kill on a burning enemy, it doesn't actually drop as much ammo because, well, the burning animation runs out. Come on. Yeah, it, it's either armor or health, not both. Can I compete some of them over here? Uh, uh, oh, right, let's see. Oh. Come on. Okay, I deserve right, that see. for being cocky. Double Lord the first. No, no, don't kill it's rip and tear. I know. It's a lover, 3,000. What I have found is that actually the rocket launcher is the best. It's best against the snakes. Okay. I yeah, think, since it's think on, since it can lock on and such. Yeah, I think on direct hit, something think the snakes die in two free shot. Two free shot. I'm not sure that it actually counts as a good weapon against them. It takes two of the three shots. Yeah, it's better than unloading all the ammo that we have. Let's true, see, there's true. something behind those jaws. Do have recommendations to uh, shoot their tail or something, or... What was it, ice grenades? Yeah. I'm guessing we'll be returning back here later. Hmm. So for now, let's just move on. Also, I should probably try out our new toy. Yeah. Let's see. What is this? Hell Growth Part 2. Let's see. The growth exhibits certain predetermined qualities. In the consumption of our ecosystem, it creates environmental conditions more conductive for its own continued formation. In effect, employing an organic method of terraformation. The resulting environment is hostile to terrestrial life, producing atmospheric toxins and a multitude of environmental hazards. Although it is understood that the growth accelerates the arrival of demon life on Earth, it is not clear how the growth themselves originated, or whether there was some sort of catalyst for either the, dish, the conditions necessary for their existence. It is believed that if the source of the growths can be identified, there may be a means of uprooting the entire formation. All right. And let's have a look at chat. Uh, there's also a skin for the ballista, which basically makes it uh, like a type of weapon you would use for hunting monsters like werewolves and vampires, like a vampire hunter style. Uh, da -da -da. Well, I found that the rocket launcher thing and direct, direct hits. Direct hits would be mo more difficult though, uh, but the lock on would help a lot with that. Uh, let's see. Also, looking at this level reminds me of a demo trailer I saw when it was still a newly released game. Okay. I'm getting a bunch of Hellgate London vibes, though, with more red you know, growths. Yeah. yeah that's what is what you said, uh, Hellgate uh, Italy. Ah, there. My brothers 
ancestors who are helped in the dark friends transition into their new world, a comfortable one. Oh, I think we get close to that character who says something. Yep. That's <laughs> how we ended up above them there. Yeah. Let's see, can we go back to that uh, thing again and see if he has, she has something else to say? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. Oh, hello. Now you're making your appearance, huh? Dude. Okay. Bonk. Yeah, we're getting a good amount of those in. Yes! Hey. Hey. Yep. Glass. Yeah, don't be a glass cannon. Really? Did I just I get killed by a zombie is... there? I got curious how the phrase glass cannon came to be. There. I really hope no one actually tried to make a cannon made of glass. Probably not. There's no... What was I getting stuck on then here? No? Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Actually, what are the challenges here? Let's see, inquire, acquire weapon mods, complete both secret encounters, perform three different glory kills on pinkies. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah, this just loops back. Okay. Now then, where to, there to? I do know pirates actually loaded some of the cannons with glass as improvised ammo. Okay. I think even some grenades they even did, did uh, that too. So, let's be honest, you throw a clay grenade, they explode, and it flies glass shards everywhere. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> If one was made, I'd hope it was made from special glass that can withstand being shot once. Uh, I I very much doubt that would, would be possible. You'd be looking more at plastics or really, really thick uh, glass then. Okay, buff totems. Uh, increase the speed and damage of nearby demons. Buff demons will endlessly spawn until the buff uh, totem is destroyed. Melee the totem to remove the buff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get what they mean, but it kind of sounds okay. funny. Okay, where's this thing? Oh, uh, now we must have two of them with abs. Okay, where is the stupid thing? If I need to destroy the thing, I need to be able to find it first. At least they're also in fighting. Seriously, where is it? Oh, there it is. Do I need to scale a certain amount or something? I don't remember. It's 
pointing at that thing, but it's blocked. So what the fuck do I need to do then? Okay. Let me move. Okay, the, the idea of buff totems needs. The fact that you're hiding them behind a wall immediately, fuck you. Because that just cost yeah, me not... all the extra lives. Yeah, no, that just felt a bit uh, unnecessary. No, be here, Kennedy. Kinda makes sense. Yeah, but not for a very in. first encounter with these things. The first encounter is supposed to be a, a bit of a a bit easier of a tutorial, but they immediately pull bullshit like this. Oh yeah. Gameplay it's mean. Like they could have at least added in they'll like and they'll often be hidden behind stuff, so you'll need to kill a bunch of demons before you can get rid of it. Okay, little pizza over here. Now those things hang from the roof with the right place and it will have a teleporter once one of them leads to you to the totem. Basically you have to go to the green teleporters. Okay, so usually is they tell you about the both to the totem, but they did not tell you about the teleporters. Fuck off. There. Yeah, I feel like this one would have been easier if they told us that little detail. Like, they, they immediately tell you, ignore, but the instruction basically says, ignore the demons, go for the totem, and then they have put you in a place where you need to kill the demons before you can get to the totem. So yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that. Yeah. That's why I'm not telling you that there's hidden portals which do to the damn tentacles. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> That was poorly thought out. Now, there was someone with a coin here. Nope, secret encounter, no interests. Where are they? This way. Oh, and there's a room there. Was a coin to you, Slayer? Volley of Hellscape, Volley of Hellscape. Yellow Gore King. <laughs> it's from, uh, I, oh, so according to your Witcher. Yes. Yep, in this case, rather literally melting. Oh dear. But yes, that was from the Witcher, and I hope. I I think I actually misheard you there, but I'm gonna assume I actually misheard you. Hmm? When you picked up the gore key. What did you hear then? I thought you said war key. Let's see, runes. Okay, let's see, we have... Yeah, that one. Stagger longer. Survive one hit. Okay, I thought that we I thought we would need more uh, runes to unlock the extra slots for them, but okay. 
But yeah, the, my, my frustration with that is that they tell you one thing that basically you need to uh, go for the totem first, but then, yeah, need, force you to go through the demons first. When they specifically tell you, not directly, but the, indirectly tell you to ignore the demons and go get the thing first. Unless the intention was to teach you how powerful they are if you do do it. Yep. Okay, bunch of monkey by. This is the biggest one we've had so far. What are these? Not of importance for the combat. Holy. And I see the Sue Twin stream. Oh, be safe, pizza lover. <laughs> see ya. Oh dear. They're six health. Yep, bon appetit. Okay, let's go into a bit more close quarters for this. around the corner casually yep. and then just blows up casually actually there yep. damn it that. There. Okay, there we go. And of course I missed the quad damage. Missing them and discover many of these ups after you finish college. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, almost time, but let's take a look at what these things are. Okay. Insert the go uh, goal key and. Find them. This is a very specific biological function, apparently. Sometimes evolution yeah. just needs a little push, and here at the UAC, we push hard. Yeah, push right over a cliff. This is what I'm going to do to Samuel once I find him after all of this bullshit. Why will you do that? Because he's the he's the head of the UAC. Uh, Plus he hasn't shown himself, so best presumption oh. I have is he is responsible for half of his bullshit specters. Oh, for this skip those for, for this game.
We finish with one last bonk. Nope. Okay. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Okay, stream timer went off, so let's go to the next save point. Submit to them. Yeah, submit to me. This is the heart of the nest. It has taken root in this facility's main power generator. Reactivating the generator will destroy the nest. Yeah. Bad timing. Yo. Let's see what we get. <laughs> okay, just kick him out of his. You first. Okay. Uh, didn't see if there was a save there. Let's see. Oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Is that the chain gun? Let's see. Super Gore nests. Vega data entry, da, 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 Comsec Red, Analyst T. Washington. Let's see. Operation Lock AAR follows. Following reports of UAC cultist presence at the Lock Reactor, uh, recon teams infil, uh, infil Gamma and Infil Hector attempted to gain entry to Lock and assess the situation. Their final transmission indicated a massive demonic presence entering the reactor facility through continu uh, Continuum uh, Gates. Sick help portals. Uh, an emergency global council meeting approved an immediate, yeah, an immediate arc response to the situation at the lock reactor. The assembled coalition strike force included four U.S. battle mech divisions, the Con Ur Long Range Naval Artillery Barrage Fleet, 27 U.S. Nightbird Apaches, three NATO Shock Troop Battalions, two Con Euro Rapid Response Levite uh, Tank Divisions, and 18,000 Coalition Special Forces units. The initial bombardment from the LRNAB was met with an immediate response from invasion forces and estimated 8,000 DPO-13G units, sick gargoyles, attacked the fleet, sinking 32 vessels and disabling a further 78% of the fleet. The remaining ships retreated to a position approximately 32 miles offshore, beyond the reach of the gargoyles, but also out of artillery range. With the fleet out of action, the Battle Max and the Pachis initiated a danger close salvo against the reactor as shock troops and special forces attempted a rearward infiltration. Several platoons made it inside the reactor, where the demons had already established a DP-136 uh, nest, a super gore nest. Although gore nests have been reported at various invasion sites, this was the largest so far observed. The nest has been built around the reactor core itself. Several thousand IFF beacons are amassed at the nest location, suggesting the demons are using our fallen forces as part of their bioorganic continuum gates. Yeah. At the time of writing, the DP, uh, yeah, the nest is considered to be ground zero of the invading force. Unless the uh, continuum gate is destroyed, this analyst sees no way to stem the influx of aggressors. Recommended response, TNA, total nuclear annihilation. Uh, oh, let's yeah. hope we are away before they try that. Then again, yeah. I think nuking still... Doom Guy would only make him angrier. Yeah, and I think I also don't want to be missing some uh, special dialogue for some computers. Mm -hmm. But Woodman talks about Doom Guy. Okay. Uh, we had those two messages in the uh, <clears throat> in the command center. Let's see. The con maker will periodically empower a demon that has killed another player in the campaign. Empowered demons are stronger and they drop extra resources when killed. Okay. Yep. 
don't drop me with one of those things in close quarters so suddenly. There. Okay, the game was way giving me much more leniency there. Let the rat suit. The rat suit protects the player from toxic slime and toxic water, but degrades over time. Recharge the rat suit by finding rat suit refills or another rat suit. Okay. There, let's put you out of my misery. I, I think I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll probably swap out that uh, feature since it takes ooh, <laughs> since it takes quite long to actually kill something and slows us down. Okay. Uh, let's see. There is. Where would this put us? Hopefully, not too far back. Okay, right here. Okay, good enough. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, another stream with a good amount of progress. Not sure why the Doom Guy, the Slayer Man. What? Uh, yeah, good amount of progress uh, this time, and hope we'll continue with that uh, in two days. Hmm. Oh, I'm looking forward to it already. And hopefully we'll be able to... ...not max out the CPU. Yeah, I'm... Let's see. What happens if I... ...here? What if I set everything to low? We'll see if that helps. Uh... No, I'm, I'm guessing... Uh, yeah, I'm guessing this game is just one of those games that just maxes out your C your GPU to try and make the best of it, even though it doesn't need to use all of it. Yeah, I, I don't understand whose idea was to design it like that. Just, is it better for the, the game to just use what it needs and not as much as possible? Yeah, probably someone thought it was a good idea at some point, and yeah, we've, we've seen how it went from there. Uh, yeah, you're also like a good way to actually break a computer in worst case scenario. For now, though, let's change the screen share and go look for someone to raid. A good amount of people online. We have Lil Tree, who is playing Valorant. We haven't raided them in a long while. Uh, Isaiah Rosier is streaming Dungeon Munchies again. Intro VT is streaming Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt. Uh, Chaos D1 is streaming uh, Remnants 2. The Mentor Marsupial is as well. Uh, Empathize is playing Elden Ring. Grim the Wolf is playing Walkabout Mini Golf. Oh, that's the, oh it's a, a VR game. <laughs> Definitely a rage game. Uh, Halloween 45, 45 is streaming Street Fighter 6. I thought I heard something beep. And Smoops and the Nonsense is streaming Project Zomboids. Okay. Who of, you, who of those would you say? Hmm. Tempted with the intro VT. Do that much we do to I mean you know the guys who made the if Emperor had text to speech? Uh I've seen it. I've know of them, but I've never really watched much of that stuff. And Yeah. The new series is based on the same the World of Darkness universe. Basically what this vampire game is part of. Okay, but this is like a uh, a fortnight, but uh, World of Darkness. So, wait, what? It's not. Yeah, it's a battle. 
it's it's a battle royale game. I was talking about Indriviti playing Vampire the Masquerade, not Valorant. Yeah. We're looking at them right now. <laughs> Vampire the Masquerade uh, Blood Hunt, not Bloodlines. Oh. This is <laughs> This is that battle royale. Oh okay. Still the same universe. Yeah. Just a wrong game. <laughs> Okay, shall we go visit Lil Tree? We haven't seen them in a good long while. No, we're not. Okay, Valorant isn't really my type of game, but I will. Uh, let's see, copy the name and then slash rate paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Durvin. Uh, I saw Mac early on, I believe. Uh, thank you. Uh, what was the name again? We have Marco as well, of course. And uh, we had another streamer visit. Uh, the, Nullify, was it? it was a, I think it was Nullify, yeah. They, they, they joined even. Yeah, Nullified. Okay, yeah. Thank you again for the follow with that. And uh, I see Sensei is, is lurking as usual. And that looks like a bot name in chat. So I'll definitely check that out. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we'll continue with this game on Thursday, of course. Uh, uh, one, there is one thing, though. Thursday is going to be a... There's going to be a... Uh, what to call it? An event in the neighborhood that may be loud. Or is very guaranteed to be loud. So I hope that won't be recorded on the mic. But if it does get that loud... Uh, then it might be best to, well, postpone to Friday or something. Wait, don't you have things you do on Friday? Yeah, but uh, if I'm back home, if I'm home back home cl quickly enough and just make my own dinner, uh, should be stream time. We should be able to do a stream. <clears throat> All right. But yeah, for now... Uh, let's start up the raids, and yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, and watch out for gargoyles. <laughs> and super gore nests, apparently. <laughs> <laughs>